Usually when you run on real terminal it will not show such message instead it will take you to another prompt now <coughs> second part of this tutorial asks us to check the status of git so if we type git status or git status and press enter it will show us the branch initial commit as you can see there is nothing to commit or copy so let's see if I, if I can use touch command here md and then yes that command is not available because we are on web browser so no system specific commands are available on this tutorial let's just type chit add as per this tutorial and press enter nothing specified nothing to add so so let's see if we can use chit add then dot this will include each and every file from our folder to JIT folder as you can see there is octocat.txt which is not tracked so we have to use jit add name of the file and then press enter as you can see this will add octocat.txt file to our jit folder let's type jit status now this new file is added to our remote location now let's <coughs> commit this change dash m and some text like say at cute octocat story this will basically add the comment to our commit it is good practice to add a comment to each and every commit you can commit even without comment but it is good to know why this commit was made and for that reason we use comments now <coughs> the next part of this tutorial tells us to use git add along with wildcard star dot txt which will add basically every dot txt file from our local repository or local folder to git repository As you can see I made a mistake by typing double quotes so we are using single quote again ah, it is showing me success message now let's again make commit remember to use single quotes because in this tutorial we have this web best limitation with double quotes on your own terminal <coughs> you can use double quotes 
as you can see it is showing us all the files that are to be added to get we have this folder octo family added to JIT folder and all these folders are basically stored on our github account now let's check the log as you can see it has the commit number author and it this is handy when you want to track the changes that is why we have the added common feature here now let's add the remote repository git remote add origin https github.com slash try try dash git try dash underscore git dot git so let's just copy this and press enter again it shows the success then we have this push you origin master command this will commit the change to remote repository so earlier we made the changes to local repository then checked it again 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 now we want to push these changes to github so that's why we added url to remote repository we use get remote add then name of that repository which is origin and then url to the git repository that we created now let's try to push these changes let's enter and see as you can see the details are now pushed to the origin which means we have all the files over there now let's see now this part tells us to pull remotely so if you want to pull the git repository locally then we type git pull origin master press enter now we have updated now if there are any differences addition changes that are made within the files then we have to check the differences by typing jit diff head this will point us to the recent commit as you can see it shows tail of two octocats this is our new change now if you want to check differences within files that are changed at each stage in that case we type jit add octofamily octodoc.txt let's see yes those, those differences are now <coughs> added with the new file octodoc.txt you can also see that file octodoc.txt now let's see what we want now stage differences now we will type jit diff stage to see the changes that we just made As you can see, the new change is related to doctor.txt. Now, let's reset any changes that were made locally and to the remote repository. We can reset these changes by typing jit reset, the name of that file. You need to specify the 
folder and file name just make sure when you do that for your own repository now we have done that successfully in next part we have to undo these changes that are made to octocad.txt file so at first let's check octocad.txt we type chit checkout to dash octocad.txt now server will tell us if there is any success or error now when you are working on any features and want to copy certain files and then make separate commit then you make separate branch from that repository and when you want to do that you have to first create a branch and that name it for example git branch new name cleanup now if you want to switch from current branch to new then we type git checkout new branch name now if you want to remove all the changes from the previous branch then we type jit rm single quote star dot txt single quote this will remove all the text files from the repository and you will start over all again now you have to commit this change now let's go back to our previous repository and how we can do that hit checkout master which was our original repository now if we want to merge original repository and old then we type chit merge and new repository name As you can see it will be merged with our origin and clean up repositories now uh, if you want to remove the repository which was we just made previously with name cleanup we type jit branch dash d and then we type name of that repository yes that is now removed now we have to make final change to this we type jit push and then press enter that's it in this short tutorial uh, from github you learn how to execute commands on console from creating a repository adding the files committing the changes creating a branch removing that branch and pushing the changes to those repositories i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and in future tutorials i will explain you more about how you can work with git and github so that's it for now thank you